Let's factor polynomials, or trinomials, where a is not equal to 1. Now, what the method I'm going to use is the grouping method, also known as the AC method. And so I'm going to label my a, b, and c because it's in correct form. I'm going to multiply a times c. In this case, I'm going to multiply 2 times 9. And that gives us 18. What we're going to do is find factors of 18 that give us 19 when we add them together. Now, notice I'm using positive numbers because all the numbers over here are positive. And I'm going to use the graphing calculator to help me out a little bit. So I'm, what I'm actually going to type in is 18 divided by x. Then I go to the table. And this is going to give us the pairs of factors that multiply to give us 18. So 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. I don't want to look at the decimals. I only want to look at the nice numbers. So when I add the two pairs together, in this case 1 and 18, that gives us 19, which is what I want because I'm looking for the b. And that means that's what I'm going to use, 1 and 18, because 1 times 18 is 18, and 1 plus 18 is 19. So if I add them together and put the x's in, you'll see where I get the 19x that I'm going to use. So rather than 19x, I'm going to use 1x plus 18x. And the calculator helps us out quite a bit. In fact, it can help us out even more because what I just did, I added these two columns together. 1 plus 18 is 19, which is the same as adding x and y1. So that means what I can do is I can go to y2. And by the way, I'm, I'm using the graphing feature, but only looking at the table. So I'm looking at y equals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in x plus, go to the var key, which is variables, go over the y bars, hit enter, and I'm looking for the y1, that's the first one, so hit enter or 1. So now I want to look at the table, which is second graph. If I go over to the y2, and once I find the 19, that's my b. And that means that x and y1 are the numbers I'm going to use, which is what I did in order to factor. And so let's go ahead and complete the factoring by grouping. These two have an x in common. When I divide it out, I have 2x plus 1. These two have a plus 9 in common. When I divide that out, from each one I get 2x plus 1. They each have a 2x plus 1 in common. That's one factor, and what's left over is our second factor, x plus 9. Let's do another one. One that may be a little bit more difficult. Let's look at 4x squared plus 17x minus 15. So once again, I'm going to do the AC method. So I'm going to take 42 times 15. And that's a big number. So 42 times 15 equals 630. Now how would you like to find factors of 630 and I actually made a mistake. Do you see what the mistake is? Because that's a negative 15. So it should be a positive 40, 42 times a negative 15, which is negative 30. Now, how would you find factors of negative 630? I may have said 30. Negative 630 that add up to positive 17. Well, let me show you what the calculator can do for you. I'm going to type in negative 630. divided by x. And I'm going to keep that x plus y1 in there because that's going to be our b column. Let's go to the second graph, which is the table. And once again, I'm looking for a positive 17 because that's our b under the y2. y2 is our b. So I'm looking for 17. Now these are all negatives. So it may be faster to go up. I can keep on going down and eventually get there. And for whatever reason, I can't go up on my y2, so I have to go back in my x column. Looking for 17. If there isn't one, that means it won't factor, but we should find one. And there it is. See that 17? That's our b, which means we're going to use negative 18 and positive 35 for our 17x. So let's go ahead and do this. 42x squared minus 18x. And if you're wondering, it does not matter which one goes first plus 35x minus 15. Now from here we can factor. 42 and 18, 
looks like 6x is what they have in common. And when you divide out the 6x, we get 7x minus 3. The 35x minus 15 looks like they have a positive 5 in common. When you divide out the 5, you get, we get 7x minus 3 also, which would be better. Because the watch inside parentheses has to be the same because that's one of the factors. And if it's not, we did something wrong. When you divide it out, 6x plus 5 remains. So this is how you can use your y equals feature to help you